Hello and welcome to my first screencast. Today I'm going to show you how to convert any picture into a format that can be displayed on your Apple IIc or Apple IIe with 128K. For this I'm going to use this BMP viewer that you can download in GitHub. You just have to download the zip file and save it anywhere you like. I already saved my version on the desktop, so open it up you will see the image folder that contains these images. The utils folder contains also some color palettes that will be useful to convert the picture. So let's extract this version which pretty closely matches the NTSC colors. Now for this we will be using the GIMP this one would do a nice double high-res picture. We don't actually care much about color accuracy right now, so you can just ignore this. Now let's scale the image so that it can fit the Apple II display. Now this picture has a different aspect ratio, so in this case we will use the height as the main resolution. You can choose another interpolation now let's resize the canvas so that we can remove the exceeding pixels. Center would be OK. Now in double high res the Apple II displays fat pixels. That is the horizontal resolution is reduced to 140. We can change the dimensions of the picture so that we are able to do an unproportional resizing. Now, the Apple II will only be able to display 16 colors and, and that's why we need this palette we downloaded earlier. So to be able to use the palettes, just let's just add the tab with the palettes on the GIMP. Now with a right click, we will be able to import a palette from a palette file. So let's choose, there you go. Now we have the Apple II NTSC palette, which we will we'll be using to transform this picture into an indexed image. So we choose the custom palette. We won't remove any unused colors from the color map. Here you can choose which dithering you prefer. Fluid Steinberg usually does the job. Because we want to save it into a bitmap, we will have to use export as to save it. So let's just change the extension. The GIMP will automatically recognize which format we want to use. So we are not using any transparency. You can ignore this one and just click on export. Now we have a bitmap that exactly matches the resolution and also the color palette of the Apple II. The next step would be to open a disk image and copy the image file into it. For this we will be using CiderPress. I have a copy that I downloaded here on, in my documents. This is the disk image that I got from GitHub and it has already some sample pictures but because we want to add our own we will just choose them and we can remove them just to make space now we can add the pictures that the picture that we converted so I have already converted some other pictures before so let's pick them too. So let's remove the the slideshow. As you can see, 
ciderpress added the files as known we will have to change the format to turn it into a binary file now we can go to applewin we can load the image there you go now you have a nice picture of the two steves on your Apple II in full color well double high res color let's take a look at the other pictures pretty neat huh well that's it I hope you enjoyed the demo and if you have converted any pictures using this system I will be really happy to see a video response Thanks for watching. Bye.